So I know most of you have clicked this video because it has the word scholarship in it. And I know that you haven't even finished watching this video, but you're already typing in the comments. Great video. I hope you would consider me for your scholarship. Please, sir. Am I right? Well, I wish you would have at least subscribed first. I mean, 98.5% of the people who viewed my videos aren't even subscribed. Just press the red button and maybe I'll have a scholarship opportunity for you in the future. If I actually start making money from YouTube. Anyway, you've probably seen hundreds or thousands of scholarships being given away every day. And you're thinking to yourself, I'm a hard worker, I'm honest, and I love playing games. So why don't I have a scholarship yet? One quick look at the Axie Infinity's Discord server under the hashtag scholarship channel and you can see hundreds of willing and capable scholars. But how can you separate yourself from the hundreds of people all looking for scholarships? Have you done anything to make yourself stand out? Are you even looking for scholarships the right way? Before we dive into that, let's first find out what a scholarship program means in the context of Axie Infinity. In the traditional sense, you use the term scholar for that kid in school that is super smart, and because of that, he doesn't have to pay for school. Well, Axie Infinity's scholarship program is sort of the same, except you don't have to be smart. Basically, a scholarship program in Axie Infinity is where a manager, the person who owns the Axies, will lend them to you, the scholar, by giving you access to his account. You can then play on this account to farm SLP. You will then split the SLP farmed between you and your manager, depending on the agreement on the profit sharing. But just like any business or job, your payment is based upon your agreement with your client or boss. So if your agreement is 50-50, then 50-50 it is. If your agreement was 90% to your manager and 10% to you, well, you agreed to that. There was nothing stopping you from negotiating a better rate or declining the scholarship contract. What is considered unfair for you may be considered generous for others. So know your worth and how much you value your time before agreeing to any scholarship contract. Now that you know what a scholarship program is, let's now talk about why you don't have one yet. Just like in real life, there are a bunch of jobs available. But the good jobs, the high paying jobs, are always fought and competed for. You should be treating a scholarship opportunity like a job application. And because I have some experience in the corporate world, I feel that I am qualified enough to give you six tips on how to get the job you want. Be a professional, research the company, use all available job search resources, know the responsibilities of the job you're applying for, network regularly, and be prepared for an interview. Now, those don't sound like things you do in Axie Infinity, right? They sound boring and maybe a little bit generic. Well, that's sort of the point because these tips can be applied everywhere. So let's apply them in the context of finding an Axie Infinity scholarship opportunity. And I'll go through this one by one with you. Number one, be a professional. Being a professional doesn't mean you have to wear a suit and tie. It just means you need to respect the rules and follow instructions. You need to be courteous, polite, and follow etiquette. For example, you can see that your favorite content creator just tweeted something. And then you reply to that tweet with a message begging for a scholarship. He literally just said not to spam him. Do you think that person will give you a scholarship now? You'll probably just be ignored and blocked. Again, do not spam people asking for scholarships. It is incredibly annoying and will not help your case in getting a scholarship. Instead, you should find people or sites that are actually offering scholarships and apply there. Remember when I said you should follow instructions? Look at this Reddit post in r slash Axie Scholarships. It says to join the Discord so that you can be recruited as a scholar. And look at the first response. Someone just posted all their information and probably didn't even join the Discord. Ugh. Well, that person probably missed their chance at a scholarship. And oh, do not share your personal and private information in public forums. 
you could get easily hacked or even harassed, especially if your profile pic is a sexy or provocative picture of yourself. People can trace your location and can be perverts. You know what? Scratch that. Maybe having a sexy picture can increase your chance of finding a scholarship. That's obvious sarcasm, guys. Sexual harassment is a crime. Number two, research the company. In this case, the company is Sky Mavis in Axie Infinity. You have to know about the game and have a basic understanding of how to play it. You need to know the game's terms of use so that you know what things can get you banned and how to avoid them. I already made a video about this if you want to know more. And lastly, you need to have a little bit of knowledge on how cryptocurrencies work. You should know how to withdraw SLP and where to sell the SLP that you will be earning. Number three, use all available job search resources. Usually for normal jobs, you would check the newspaper, look at LinkedIn and other job hunting websites, and maybe even the website of the company you want to work for to see if there are any job openings for the position you want. For scholarships, however, you have to be a little bit more resourceful in finding places where they offer scholarships. If you are only waiting on the Axie Community Discord for scholarship opportunities, then you won't find too many openings. Just by me googling and looking for scholarship opportunities, I already found this article from the Axie Edge website, with these guilds offering scholarships. Aside from clicking these links and following their application process, you have to google them and see if they have a Twitter account or a Discord server, so you can follow those and you can see right away if they announce any new scholarship offers. You should also use Reddit, especially r slash Axie scholarships, as there are quite a bit of managers there that post their scholarship requirements. And subscribe to your Axie content creators such as me, because you never know when we're going to have new scholarships available. You should also search for new content creators on YouTube, like my friend Doozy Axie. His recent videos have information on how you can be his next scholar, so you should definitely check him out. If you do, write a comment telling him Solthos sent you. Number 4. Know the responsibilities of the job you are applying for. As a new scholar, you've probably never played the game before. Now tell me this. Would you want a doctor that has never treated a patient before? No, right? You'd be scared to death. But what if I told you that the doctor is a fresh graduate at one of the top medical schools? And when you talk to him, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Now you feel a little bit more confident to have him as your doctor. It is exactly the same thing for scholarships. You may have never played the game before, but if you have read the guides and have asked people in Discord for tips, and you watch YouTube videos to improve your gameplay, like maybe from Axie on the Moon or Nosebleed Gaming, you will inspire confidence in your future managers. Knowing the game and how to play the game before you even become a scholar will give you a very big advantage. Number 5. Network regularly. If a stranger went up to you and asked you to lend them $1,000, would you lend it to them? Trust is a hard thing to build, especially when a manager will be lending his expensive team of axes to you, someone that he doesn't know personally. There is a saying that it's not what you know, but who you know. You are more likely to get a scholarship from someone that trusts you. Even if you've never played Axie Infinity before, you should already start participating on the Discord and getting to know the people there. You should ask about the game and start interacting with the community. Try to help people who have questions if you can. This will go a long way, and maybe one day someone will offer you a scholarship directly. Or maybe they will help you find someone who is looking for a scholar. Number 6. Be prepared for an interview. In this case, the interview is the application and the process that follows after you've been considered for the potential scholarship. The most important thing is following instructions. A lot of scholarships have fixed instructions on how you can apply. Follow these instructions to the letter, as skipping over any of these may result in your disqualification. Also, be careful on what you write on your application. Writing things like can grind for 10 to 12 hours or 24 7 will actually be a negative because as you saw in my previous video the whole grind only lasts less than two hours 
So choose your words carefully and make sure that your positive traits will actually help you to become a good scholar for your future manager. If you are lucky enough to pass their preliminary selection process, some managers might want to interview you and ask you some questions before hiring you. You should be prepared with your game knowledge and you have to be honest with your capabilities and let your personality shine. Now that I've shared with you the tips on getting a job, it doesn't sound too different from trying to find a scholarship, right? Just remember these tips and you'll have that scholarship in no time. So guys, don't spam the comments with scholarship requests. Just follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, and stay subscribed. I'll let you guys know if or when I start giving out scholarships. And if you want to find another game that isn't as expensive to play as Axie Infinity, but could be the next play-to-earn blockchain game, head on over to www.playtoearn.net. They feature all the latest blockchain games, and that's actually where I found out about Axie Infinity. So check them out. See you all in the next video. Bye!